what's up everybody so in today's lesson uh in the course of overview of animal classification we'll be talking about the basis of classification uh this is the third lesson in this course and it's presented by me iftikhar khan so let's get started it's about me you can follow me at anacademy.in/user/iftikhar khan and so we jump right into it uh so today i'll be telling about firstly by s- about segmentation so it's basically the process uh by which the organism increases its size in the embryonic age and in some cases it also increases while it is in, in it's in the adult form so basically the term segmentation means that uh the organism is divided into segments and they may be true segments or maybe false segments true segments are present in metameric segmentation while pseudo metamerism means false segmentation so firstly i'll tell about metameric or the true segmentation in this case uh, there is both external as well as internal segmentation and the segments are formed right in the embryonic conditions not in the adult one they're only formed in the embryonic condition and no and no new segments are added after the adult has been formed and uh, why in the embryonic stage the new segments are from the posterior end they are they are added in the posterior end first and there is repetition of organs which is found uh in the following segments so the examples being annelida arthropods and the chordates so like in the mammals uh the presence of ribs the vertebral column and the abs the abdominal muscles represent the metamorphism they are uh, suggestive of presence of metamorphism in adults then we come to pseudo metamorphism pseudo metamorphism which is the false metamorphism in this case the metamorphism is either external or internal it's not both as was the case of metameric segmentation and these segments are formed throughout the life uh, even in the adult life it does not matter whether it's uh, in the embryonic stage or not in it's all formed in the adult life as well and the segments have added only to the anterior end and there is no repetition of organs as such so the example being the platyhelminths or the tapeworm uh then we uh, come to cephalization which is the formation of head so uh cephalus means a uh, head and alization uh, cephalization zation is basically the process of formation this is the process of formation of head so uh whenever a new organism whenever an organism enters a new environment it needs to adapt to it so in ad- in order to adapt to it it needs some sensory organs to sense the surroundings and uh, take precautionary measures take protective actions and as well as for feeding and uh, for finding its prey it needs that so these sensory organs are mostly present on the head to so head the head has a uh, quite a density of sensory organs like in the case of humans we have the eyes uh, the ears and the nose on it so uh, as i told you it's the maximum sensory organs are present on the head so uh the main purpose as i told you is to maintain homeostasis that is to maintain a balance between the organism's internal environment as well as the external environment basically so it includes like everything should be constant like the ph value and the temperature they need to be maintained so and it was first started in the platyhelminthes for the first time platyhelminths were the first phyla in which it was started then we come to development uh development is basically how an individual how an adult organism is formed from the stage from the development earliest development stage that is the egg basically so it can be of two types uh direct or indirect so direct is the one in which uh in between larvae are present larve in between larvae are present while the indirect is the one where the larvae are absent okay uh what what i told you is that in the direct one there is no larval forms 
I will I will correct myself that in the direct one there is no larva formed as such, while in the indirect one is that the egg first turns into a larva, and then into the adult. Okay, so a uh, direct no larva form, indirect a larva form is present. So uh, as I told you, la in the direct there is no larva stage is present, and it's because the eggs have sufficient nutrients. and uh, they they do not need a provision to take the nutrients from the mother's body uh like in, in oviparous organisms which have sufficient nutrients have direct uh, have the direct development while if uh, the egg is not present in viviparous organisms in that case uh, there is a formation of of uh, a structure called placenta which helps in taking the nutrients from the mother's body while in indirect the larval stage is present like in the case of echinodermats few annelids few arthropods and few amphibians so that's it for this lesson thank you guys thanks for watching stay tuned